Welcome back, guys. Uh, okay, so last episode I made a bit of a mistake. Um, I thought that a potion of poison or a potion of harming would kill a zombie. Turns out it doesn't. And the potions have opposite effects on some of the mobs. Um, so you actually need to use a potion of healing to do harm to a zombie or I think a skeleton too as well. So I've been, um, I've made a couple of potions, I've got three as you can see, three healing potions. And I'm going to test it out, I've left um, a few zombies collect up top. So let's see if we can get it to work this time. I'm hoping that it will kill them just all in one go. Oh, hang on guys, I made a mistake. I haven't turned them into splash potions, be right back. <laughs> Okay, so we got our splash potions. Let's try that again. If it works, which I'm hoping it does, then I'm just going to have a stack of them down here. <laughs> that is awesome. I can't see. Pretty crazy. I think there's a few more zombies up there. Not too many. I love it. That is so cool. And I'm not going to waste my potion on this small amount of guys here. But that will make getting XP so much easier. I'm going to leave that healing potion down here. Cool. I'm really glad that works. What I think I'll do for this episode is make... Um, there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to add the timers to these farms. Um, I think I also want to try and move these pressure plates in one. So that they're not quite out in, out, you know, they're kind of in the way right now, and I keep walking on them by accident. Um, I've put a little chest and a workbench here, as you can see, and I've been putting some of my extra supplies in there. Uh, I've got um, a few reeds as well, like 24 or maybe 25. So I could, yeah, 25 exactly. So I could make a few more bookcases as well. I'll probably do the ones in the corner, get them out of the way. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make a start on that, guys, and I'll, I'll bring you back once I've made a bit of progress. Hey, guys, welcome back. Uh, okay, I wasn't able to move the pressure plates in, but thanks to a few YouTube guides, I've been able to um, make a slight adjustment to the way that they operate. The way this one's already done. This one's done, but it's open, so I can show you what... Uh, what I've done there. Um, the only difference now really is basically when I walk on the pressure plate the obviously the items pop up and they harvest but they do not go down and they don't go down until I walk back on the pressure plate. So that makes it quite a, li uh, quite a lot smoother and easier to to harvest everything. I don't have to keep jumping down into the side parts to pick everything up. Uh, and all it is, um, now as I say, no redstone expert by any means, is a T flip flop. Uh, and I've used a few YouTube videos to show me how to make these. Um, but just to r quickly go over what we have, we have the pressure plate above a block. Um, direct directly under this you have um, your T flip flop, which is basically two pistons which push a black, uh, block back and forth um, and there's a redstone torch down the hole so when you press the button the um, the block covers the redstone torch sends power through this block to this redstone wire which leads to let me just dig this out for you a redstone torch right here 
Which should I need to make a way out of here now. Yeah, that's unpowered now because the block is blocking the red stone to to torch signal. If we press it again, the block moves. The redstone torch uh, passes power to this wire and in turn to this redstone torch which can, which then pushes the pistons up. So each time we walk over the pressure plate that block moves back and forth and either cuts or uh, you know enables the signal. It's not very tidy down here. I had to make a few adjustments because the reed farm uh, was a bit close. But we've got it working, so I'm ready to, uh, to close it up. I'm going to put a, a torch down here, actually. And let's just fill this up with stone. Make it look nice again. I'm not going to bother doing one on the reed farm. and never really had the problem with the reed farm. Uh, but as you can see, it's raised now. If you walk on it, it goes down and it stays down. And then, again, when we walk in to till it, up it pops and there it stays. So I think that's uh, a bit better than what it was before. We do have um, a few reeds that we can use. I'm not sure. I think I just harvested them. Yeah, I did. So we, we should be able to make a, a good number of bookcases now, hopefully. Although I do need to go and get some more wood. Oops. A bit of a lag there. Yeah, so let's make those bookcases real quick. Um, see how many we can make. I think I've got about 60 reeds, so hopefully we can make a good uh, good few. We've got uh, 6, 12, 13 in there at the moment, so we're not even halfway. There you go, we've got 54 sugar canes. Oop, wrong way. Four pieces of paper, which gives us 18 books. Uh, should have changed the wood first. Not too sure how many, um, how much wood we're going to need here. I'm going through wood so quickly. I really uh, really do need to get um, a farm, I think. A tree farm going. There you go. we got another six books. Six bookcases, I should say. Um, let's do these ones in the corner kind of made it awkward for myself here. I don't want to destroy the bookcases because I'll have to use wood again. Okay. Let's fix the roof or the ceiling. And we'll have a bookcase here. And we got one left. I'm not going to enchant anything right now. I'm just curious to see what kind of levels we can get. 21, 26. I don't have enough XP for 26, but... 22. Yeah, so we seem to be about mid-20s, which is uh, 25. Let's go and make a new iron pick. And uh, oh, I've got enough materials on me. And then we'll um, we'll see what we get with it. Aiming for a level 25 if we can get one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-three. Thirty-one. Oh, nice. Twenty-four. Uh, I wanna hold out for a twenty-five if I can. I had the twenty-five a second ago. Twenty-one, twenty-seven, twenty-four. Come on, give me a 25. Yes. Unbreaking 3 and Efficiency 3. That's pretty cool. 
Certainly the best one I've had so far. What should we do next, guys? Shall I... Um, should I do my mushroom farm? Should I... I don't know. Should I do my wheat farm, a tree farm, or, or no farm? Um, let's put this stuff in here. Look how many melons I've got. And there's more upstairs. There's like another three or four stacks upstairs. Um, what should we do? There's lots of things we can do. I mean, we can go and find a stronghold. I haven't really finished my house yet. There's loads of melons here as well. I'm going to quickly sort out my items here. Get everything in order. I always like to take a little bit of cobble with me, so. Um. Keep those with me. Let's um let's go and use the potion on those zombies. There's not that many there, there's probably like I don't know, twenty or maybe or thirty maybe. Um I think I'll check out to see if I have any slimes as well. I might use this potion. It depends how many are there. No, it's not enough to, to waste that on. Yeah, that would have been a waste. Down to my slime farm I go. I'm going to uh, record the whole route just in case you guys are kind of wondering where everything is. Uh, if you come straight down to the bottom here, this is where I've started my... Uh, branch mine and my slime farm. I think uh, slime farms don't have to be this low down. I think they have to be um, 40 or below. Um, I haven't been down here. I, I, might, I might have been too far away. No, nope, we've got a few slimes. Let's, uh, let's take care of these guys then. When they break down to these little ones, I tend to switch to my hand because they're one hit kills for the most part. Oh, there's another one spawned now. Whoa. I like how they all kind of come to you. You don't have to chase them down or anything. Okay, we've got um, we've got quite a few slime balls now. I think I've got about a, almost a stack. This is my branch mine. Um, I've just been kind of going at it randomly. Um, I'll leave two blocks in between each corridor, and I'm at level twelve point six. So this is kind of diamond level, and we've been doing pretty well on diamonds. Um, what's going on here? Oh, I dug that way. Um, yeah, I think we've got like thirty or so now, roughly. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to do the mushroom farm. Um, it's uh, it's going to be relatively straightforward and simple to make, so it's a nice, quick, easy thing we can do. Although the only thing that's going to take me a little while is I got to dig out the room, but it's got to be done. So I'm going to just collect these resources, guys, and I'll meet you back up top. Okay, guys, we're back. Um, I've dug out this area. It went so much quicker with this new pick with um, efficiency three on it. Um, not really sure what I'm doing with this mushroom farm. I'm just kind of trying a few things out. Um, as you can see, I've got two mushrooms down here underneath glass. I don't know if this is going to work. This is all kind of experimental for me. Um, and those are going to be my seed mushrooms. What the others are going to 
hopefully uh, you know come from now what I want to do is set up some kind of again a pressure plate I know some of you guys don't like my pressure plates um, but what I'm gonna try and do is make some kind of pressure plate here that will release water from the back and wash any potential mushrooms down um, now f because of that I think I'm gonna get need to get rid of these plus the other thing that I've only just considered now that I've just thought about it is the water only travels eight blocks um, so how many blocks have we got one two three four six seven eight nine ten eleven so if we do this and well, let me just try something if I put water here okay so it's about hmm so I don't have to keep going out for water yeah I'm just wondering if um if I can get get um, the three water streams down this area, then maybe I'll be able to get it to work. This, as I say, I mean, this is all kind of new to me, but this is the stuff that I've wanted to kind of learn and figure out how to do for a long time. Okay, now, it's not perfect. We have these two here, and I'm guessing that's because of these blocks. Um Okay, so what about if we bring the water forward one more? Should be good then, I think. Yeah. Hate fighting the current. And there. Uh, and there. It's the same pattern, but it's it's forward one more. I think the other one ended back there. Okay. I'm kind of curious to try something now. If I put this back in its original spot. And the same for the one at the back. One on the right, I should say. Apart from this one rogue bit here, seems to be pretty even. <laughs> it's got to be awkward, isn't it? What about if we don't give it a drop and put it from there? Nope. Here. Nope. What about if we remove the height from all of them? Uh, yeah, sorry guys, this is just me kind of experimenting. I hope it's not too boring. Ah, God. I think it's these um, that are kind of messing it up a little bit. But what I was thinking of doing is having a drop down, like say here, for example. Um, maybe we'd have. Uh, in fact, okay, I think I'm going to bring the floor up one level, guys. So uh, I'll skip all that and I'll just be back in a second. Okay, guys, welcome back. I've been playing around with this for a little while, trying to figure out the best way to um, to uh, to do it. Unfortunately, I can't put the seeds in underneath because it messes with the water streams. I spent a little while trying to trying to get it to work, and I couldn't. So 
Um, you'll probably be glad to hear I've gone with the lever for this one. So we've got a few little things we need to finish up on it just to just to tidy up. And I'm going to do that right now. Um, yeah, it's not uh, it's not exactly how I'd like it, but uh, we'll see how it goes. If you guys have any suggestions, as always, just let me know. Right now, I'm just, uh, just polishing up the edges here and getting stuck, it would seem. I haven't... Oh, what, what, what are these blocks doing here? I haven't really tried it yet, so uh, we'll be the first to try it together now. I mean, it, the principle of it should work, I hope. But we will see in just a minute. Oops. So as you can see, you've got five pistons at the back controlling the water. I'm using three water streams for it. Um, the difference with this one, obviously, is that we're not going to want uh, light in there. So we're not going to have windows on this one. Let's get rid of my shovel. Uh, so we can kind of see how that goes. Um, let's put the water in. I suppose I could. No, I can't because I'll break the redstone. Let's let's try this and see what happens. Um, right, so we have. Oh, let's close the pistons first. So we have three water streams, one in each corner. And then one in the middle, and that works out just right, I think. So when we pull the lever, yeah. So none of it overflows; it just hits these the the end of this, where so I can come in here and collect them. Um, obviously, not having the seeds, it also means I have to manually replant. But yeah, it's not the end of the world. I don't know what it is. Uh, I don't know if it's just because I've got my brightness turned up, but it just seems. Yeah, it's probably just the brightness. It seems excessively bright in here, but mushrooms don't need complete darkness. They just need uh, a bit of darkness. I don't suppose we're going to yield, you know, hundreds of mushrooms in here. We haven't got the space for it, but we should get some hopefully. Um. So that's pretty much it. I think maybe should I maybe do a door of some kind? Let's um if I got wood on me. No. Nope. Let's go make a wooden door real quick. This episode's getting pretty long now. I'll um I'll keep an eye on that, um, on the mushroom farm and kind of see how it does. Might want to make it uh, take it back further so that it's got a bit more room. <laughs> uh, kind of forgot about that. Need to replant my mushrooms now. Um. So yeah, I'll see how that goes and uh, I'll let you know on the next episode. The other farms are doing pretty well. Actually, before we go real quick, because I'm going to make a few more bookshelves if I can. I Again, I'm really running out of wood. Uh, have I got a hoe? Or do I put it back? Really, really am running out of... Um, uh, oh, my inventory's full. Let's go and get the wood and I'll tidy up my inventory real quick. Because it's a mess right now. The slime balls away. Got a bunch of cobble. Let's get rid of that. Uh, 
spare pressure plate. Ooh, wrong one. I do apologize if I take a while doing this. I'm kind of a little bit anal about how my chests and everything are organized. I get upset if they're not tidy. <laughs> Uh, and wood. Okay, let's head back down. I suppose I probably should stop harvesting these pumpkins. I've got way too many as it is. Crazy amount of melons as well. Okay, uh, pumpkins in there and the melons. All right, let's see how many more bookcases we can make. Oh god, I keep doing that. Okay, so we got thirty-nine pages. Probably make another four or five again. All right. Yeah, I didn't make enough wood, did I? Of course, I didn't. Uh, I need three more planks. No, I don't. Ah, oh, God, my math sucks. Okay, so we got four more bookcases. I'll put the spare book in there. Almost done, really. We need another seven bookcases. Getting there, getting there slowly. Why do these guys grow so fast? I feel I have to. Ooh, I left a pumpkin in there. Oh, that's no good. I have to keep an eye on that. That's the first one I've seen go in there, so that's not too bad. Okay guys, I'm going to leave this episode there. Um, sorry this episode has been a, a bit of a mess. I've not really... I've just been... Oh look, it's working. Spreading already. Uh, I've not really been sure on what to do. There's so many things that I want to do. That, <laughs> that I don't know where to start. But um, I will uh, see you again next time. Thank you for watching.